Hello everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I'm gonna do some uh, readings on some of the races, the political races. So this will be a political uh, tarot um, reading or um, video. <laughs> and the first, um, first, I'm gonna look at the Michigan governor's race between um, uh, Governor Gretchen Whitmer um, and her, who's a Democrat and her opponent, Tudor Dixon, who is the Republican. Uh, we do actually have an accurate birth time on Gre Gretchen Whitch Whitmer, sorry. That's actually harder to say than you would think. Um, we do not have one on, um, on Tudor Dixon, but we do have a date of birth. Um, Tudor was born May 5th, 1977. And um, Gretchen is um, born August 23rd of 19, 1971. Gretchen is, um, is a first, uh, has her son at one degree, about one degree of, uh, of Virgo. We are, um, Tudor has her son at, um, I think, 15 degrees of, um, of Taurus. Um, I looked at the astrology, but it's hard when you have an accurate birth time and an inaccurate birth time. So to just sort of glance over it, it did look like um, Gretchen was in good standing um, to win, I think. Um, but uh, Tudor's son is going to be part of the eclipse that's happening on, um, on the midterms, November 8th is a, a <clears throat> full moon lunar eclipse. And uh, the moon is on uh, her son and the sun is opposite her son. So she, there is some sort of faded fateful thing happening. She could just be, this is fated in her, in, in her life. It does not necessarily mean she's going to win. So, um, and I haven't really honestly studied it long enough to, 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 to make a, a final discernment on that. So I figured we would pull some cards on it. I did catch um, a little bit, a little snippet of the, um, <clears throat> the debate that they had between each other. And um, Tudor Dixon was saying, I don't know if you remember how hard 2020 was for folks. And uh, uh, Governor Whitman may not know how hard it was for people. She, she, there was a plot to kill her. I think she knows how difficult, and, and she was the governor in 2020. She had to make some hard decisions. Nobody wants to have to deal with a pandemic uh, that is killing people, you know, what are those uh, Sunday night, Monday, Monday morning quarterback kind of things. So, um, but you know, of course it's politics, so it doesn't really make any sense. And, and uh, she's just trying to find other people who agree with her on that. And I'm sure there's plenty. Um, Michigan is a, is a swing state. So it is, um, and their, um, their governor, their attorney general and their secretary of state, I believe, were all women uh, back in 2020. And we know how much Trump loves women in power. Um, <clears throat> uh, Gretchen Whitmer has a, a Mars, I uh, mean, an Aries rising. She is, she's one tough cookie. Um, she's definitely a Michigan girl. All right, so I'm um, shuffling, I'm using the, the Crow Tarot. So let's look at Gretchen Whitmer's future for uh, the, the uh, election coming up on the 8th. Will she, will she uh, win the governorship of Michigan? That's I think how I'm gonna pose the question. All right, let's see what we got here. We're starting with 
the page of wands, the page of wands. So uh, right now there's a lot of messages out there. There's a lot of information out there. The word is out, the crow is crowing. Let's see what challenge is that. We have the nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles as a challenge. This could be um, the Republicans uh, who have a lot of money, who are, are more, you know, uh, who are more invested in uh, what the Republicans do because it it make they it not only makes them more money, they get to keep more money. Let's see what's underneath it all. Unfair tactics. There's unfair tactics afoot. More of this um, abuse of power. There's abuse of power under it. Let's see what's in the past. The hermit. Standing alone. Having to maybe hide away but yet having to shine the light, shine the light all the same. Let's see what's in the sky for Gretchen. Okay, we have the two of cups. This is, this bodes well. Relationships, um, working together. In the immediate future, we have the Hierophant government card. I think this bodes well for her. She's at the governor already. <laughs> And in six weeks, it looks like she'll be the governor again. How it's seen from the outside, uh, hard work. Uh, so she seems like she, she, she's see, seen as a hard worker. The domestic situation, there, there is, there's still some, um, the page of swords is, is an energy of uh, maybe a spy in the camp. She's not, um, She's not sur surrounded by or, or friends, like the people that surround her are not all friends. Let's put it that way. Um, hopes and fears, the three of um, cups, support, circles of support kind of energy, um, friends, friendship, celebration, and the outcome, the empress. So I, I, think, I think Gretchen's gonna win. I think Gretchen's gonna win. Um, but there are, you know, there are still forces around her that are trying to undermine her. That's what it looks like. But I think she's going to uh, continue to, um, I think she will succeed in becoming governor. So that's what those look like. All right. Um, so I want to do a reading on Tudor Dixon. I wanna, yeah, let's take a look at her. Let's just take a general look at Tudor Dixon. What do we need to know? And I'm curious because she does have uh, her son as part of that uh, eclipse energy. So let's see. Tudor Dixon might as well be even Stephen, right? Let's take a look. So Gretchen Whitmer getting the Empress card at the end of her reading. I feel like she's going to win. But let's see what happens with Tudor Dixon. Let's see. What comes up with that real quick. Just want to do a real good shuffle. All right. Tudor was a strange name, right? Interestingly enough, even though we don't have an accurate birth time, we have her name. Her name is, uh, she was born Tudor McCary, M-A-K-A-R-Y. This is according to Wikipedia. Her shadow vibration, that which she came to heal is a 32.5, which is the same as the shadow of the US and also the path of life of the US. So she could either express, uh, well, having the shadow connected to the shadow of the US uh, tells me that she's a, a conduit for uh, maybe the ne necessary healing that happens in uh, this country. Okay, let's see. We have the eight of wands, lots of information coming in, lots of information. Let's see what's challenging that. 
um, the seven of wands, her challenge is, is I think Whitmer. I think this is indicative of Whitmer. Um, but the seven of wands is also a, a card of courage. So maybe can she withstand the onslaught of information coming in? The eight of this eight of wands can also be the information coming in around Trump and the Republican Party. Can she stand against it, or can she can she tolerate the what's coming at her in that respect? We have the Knight of Wands. She's she's out on the road. She's doing her best, perhaps to uh, press that that side of the agenda. Let's see what's in the past. Something hidden in the past. There's some hidden information. Is this information on her? Or is this information just on the Republicans in general? We'll, we'll say, we don't know. I don't know, we don't know, I don't know. In the sky, we have the queen of wands, the queen of wands. Okay. Let's see what's in the immediate future. So it doesn't look so good for her as far as winning because this is six weeks out and she's the hanged woman here. Uh, how it's seen from the outside, we have the 10 of cups. This is um, often the card associated with Republicans, uh, with wishes and dreams. Domestic situation, we have the two of wands, the two of wands. A lot of wands here, a lot of wands, a lot of ideas. Um, see the um, hopes and fears. Um, this is rest and recuperation. I'm not sure if she's hoping or fearing that. And the outcome, heartbreak. So she's not gonna win. She's not going to win, no matter how courageously she fights. But I do feel on some level that there are things that she says um, that, and, um, that I think Gretchen Whitmer has to pay attention to because she does voice a certain a group of people within the state um, that I think need to be heeded on some on some level. Um, although I don't think she's she's going to to win, so I would give the win to Gretchen. That's what I'm. That's what I would do. I think with incumbents, you know, unless it's been a terrible situation um, that you know, like unfortunately for uh, Mario, uh, not Mario, um, Cuomo. Governor Cuomo. I don't think there's anything, there's not any, not coming back from what happens with him. Um, uh, so in that case, you know, if he had rerun, I don't think he would win. But I think Gretchen Whitmer probably did a decent job in, in Michigan, although I'm not from Michigan and I can't really speak to it. Um, but, you know, she's a Democrat, but she's not. She's not your typical, um, I don't think, died in the blue Democrat the way, say, a Democrat is from a state like New York or, or a state like Massachusetts, where I live. So, But that's what I think, Whitmer to win. I have Whitmer for the win. And we'll see how accurate I am. I, I did a whole bunch of stuff in 2020. I never actually checked how accurate I was, but that's when I was just sort of like dipping my foot into political tarot and uh, never having really used the tarot for that, looking at that um, is a bit of a challenge. I've always been more like psychologically uh, inclined when it came to the tarot. Um, more about the, you know, the person's journey than winning or losing, but we're gonna call her for Gretchen. And how can I not call for Gretchen considering my, my favorite baby girl was named Gretchen. And I have a little coaster. Looks just like her. Only she wasn't multicolored. She was regular colored. So here you go, Gretchen. 
Gretchen for the win. Thanks, guys. Um, I'll come back with a, with a few more today. Okay, bye.